I am Anil Kumar and here is a very important question on periodic functions. The question is, a pedal on a bicycle has an arm length of 20 cm and rotates about an axle 32 cm above the ground. If the pedal starts at its lowest point and rotates at 20 revolutions every minute, find a sinusoidal function that will model the height h in centimeters of the pedal after t seconds. At what time during the first 5 seconds will the pedal be 40 centimeters above the ground? So let us try to understand the situation. It's kind of like this. Let's say that is the wheel, right? And uh, the, that is, is rotating on the ground and we are talking about axle which is 32 centimeters above the ground. Right, so we have a pedal on a bicycle, right, which has an arm length of 20 centimeters. Now, so the arm length is 20 centimeters. That means for the pedal, uh, let me draw it in a different ink. That is the rotation of the pedal. Right, you understand? Okay, so we'll fill in the values. It'll become more clear. I know these circles don't really good so look so nice, but anyway, it gives us an idea. So what we are given here is that the axle is 32 centimeter above the ground. So that is 32 centimeters. And then we have a pedal here, which is obviously attached here. The length of the pedal is 20 centimeters. So maximum it can go 20 more, or lowest it will go 20 below this point, right? So the length is 20 here. So what I will do here is I'll show you that 20 plus here. So that is the pedal. Now when you rotate you are starting from the lowest point that means from here. So what happens is as you rotate you see that a sine function or, or a cosine graph could follow the path. So the pedal goes like this so it goes like this and then and the time is moving in this direction, right? So time is moving. So, so you get a graph like this. It kind of moves like this. And that is the maximum value which your pedal can have. This is the minimum value. And then the, then the graph will be kind of like this. Okay, so I just drawn a sine wave. So this sine wave starts with the minimum at this time. And that is the time t equals to 0. So this is t equals to 0 for us. Correct? So we need to find equation of this wave. Correct. So here we are given axle is 32 centimeters. So that forms the axis for our sine wave. So axis is 32. Length of the pedal, which is the amplitude, right? So amplitude is length of pedal. And that is given to us, let me write A, the amplitude as 20 centimeters, right? This is the 20 centimeters. Now we are given that it starts at the minimum that we have considered. So we'll go in for cosine graph since it starts from the minimum. So we'll go for cosine graph. So we are going to write equation of height. We'll write equation of height in terms of time. And we'll say this is A cos of kt plus uh, the axis, which let me write D here. Correct. So we know this axis is D is 32 for us. A we know is 20 centimeters. We need to find K. Now since we start from the minimum, cosine function starts from the maximum, we can write minus here, right? So that should be that should be good. To find K, we need to find time period. So how do you find time period? That is critical. Time period is time for one revolution. Time period means time for one revolution that is time period what we are given here is 20 revolutions every minute so let's calculate this part so we know 20 revolutions in one minute one minute means 60 seconds good to write it in seconds we'll say time t is in seconds for us okay so in 20 revolutions in 60 seconds so one revolution in how much time in 60 divided by 20 right so that means 3 seconds 
So we know that the time period t is 3 seconds. So if time period t is 3 seconds, what is the value of k? k for us will be 2 pi by t which is 2 pi by 3, right? So k is 2 pi by 3. Now with all this, we can now write down our equation, correct? So let me write down the equation now here in this box. Can you tell me what is the equation? We got all the values in place. So we say the equation is height of the pedal h of t where time is in seconds is equals to minus 20 the amplitude right cos of k values 2 pi by 3 t plus how high the axle is 32 centimeters plus 32. So the height is in centimeters above the ground and t is in second. So that becomes the equation, correct? So we got the equation. Now the second part of the question is, at what time during the first five seconds will the pedal be 40 centimeters above the ground? So now let's consider first five seconds, right? So we will now consider what happens in first five seconds, okay? So in five seconds, how many revolutions? Let's figure out. It takes three seconds for one revolution, right? So in five seconds, it is less than two. Okay. So let us say we start from here. This is this is three seconds for us. Is that okay? So half the revolution is one point five. So the revolutions are let me just say kind of like this much, right? So this is one point five. So four point five is here. Right, this is 4.5. So the fifth second is is somewhere here. So that is the fifth second. Do you see that? Five seconds. So that is that is the way. So it is not completing. If it completes, it becomes six seconds. So we are doing up to five seconds, kind of, right? The question is: at what time during the first five seconds will the pedal be 40 centimeters? So 32 plus 20. So it's more than 32, right? So let me draw a line here indicating 40 centimeters for us, right? So I'm not sure whether that point is included or not, we, we can always check. So we are looking for these points where the, I mean, these points where, where the height is 40 centimeters. So what we will do in this case is we will solve for T. So we have 40 equals to, that is the height in centimeters, equals to minus 20 cos of 2 pi t over 3 plus 32. So you have to solve this equation. So first step is 40 minus 32, right? And then you divide by minus 20. Then you divide by minus 20. Get this answer. Let's use the calculator. We have to put this calculator in radius. So be sure about it. So it is in radius now. So we'll do 40 minus 32. 40 minus 32 equals to, I'm just dividing by 20, not taking care of the sign at present. So it gives me 2 over 5. Now, so we have to do cos inverse of 2 over 5. We know this is negative 2 over 5, correct? So negative 2 over 5 means, okay, let's, let's see cos, so let's put negative here, negative of the answer. We get negative 2 over 5 and do cos inverse of this equals to so we get a value so what we got here is we did cos inverse of this so so that will do cos inverse of all this is equals to 2 pi t over 3 is it okay we did cos inverse cos inverse is equals to 1.982 to find time, we'll multiply this by 3 divided by 2 pi. So we get t equals to 1.982 times 3 divided by 2 pi. So we'll times it by 3 equals to divided by 2 divided by pi. So we get 0 0.946. So that is the first time when it is going to uh, be... 40 centimeters correct now the other type should be so we can now find out this is 1.5 so we have to see 
how much away it is from 1.5. So the last time could be we could add the time cycle of 3 right to this and get uh, the next cycle also. So this is 1 and the, this is 1 and after one full cycle it will be 3.946 seconds. Is it okay? Now how do you find that value? Now this value you can find by taking away 0.946 from 1.5 and adding the same value. So this difference you add. Correct? So we'll do whatever we have minus 1.5. So we get a value which is 0 0.553 and then I mean we have to take uh, 0.553 add to 1.5. So okay so <clears throat> Let me first make positive this and then add it to 1.5. So we get 2.05 as this time. This is 2 points. So this point is 2.05 for us. 0 0.05 seconds. And here we got the first answer. <coughs> 0.946. Right? So that way so we can get these three different times. If I add 3 to this, it becomes... 5.05 so it is just just outside so the fourth point is just outside our range of uh, our domain of five seconds correct so that is how we can find the times when the pedal is 40 centimeter above the ground i hope that helps correct so that is how you could solve this question go through this video once again try to understand how we solve this right so this part of calculation to find t First you take away 32, divide by minus 20, find cos inverse, get the angle in radians, multiply by 3, divide by 2 pi, you get t. Once you get t, you find the mirror image 1.5 away, which is 2.05. Add to this time period of 3, get the third point. That is how we got. Now if you add 3 to 2, you get 5.05, which is outside 5 and therefore we have not considered the other point okay so the five seconds is kind of here not there right so that is how it is i hope that helps thank you and all the best